The U.S. Navy is regularly at work modifying its carrier-based vehicles and replenishing its already fierce arsenal with new drones. And it's one of these that will be in the spotlight of today's video. The MQ-25 Stingray is a tanker drone that could radically change the rules of the game as far as the intense air battles of the future go. Work on the MQ-25 Stingray began back in 2006 as part of the U-Class Unmanned Carrier Launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike Program. The U.S. Navy was looking to get a stealth strike UAV capable of attacking enemy air defense systems, taking off from the decks of aircraft carriers and successfully landing on them. However, by 2012, the initial requirements from the U.S. Navy for the complex's strike force were put on the back burner, and the development pace of its latest UAVs and the reconnaissance functionality became the priority. After another four years and a series of delays during the device's development, the command decided to redirect all efforts from U-Class to the creation of an unmanned tanker drone with reconnaissance functions, pushing for the ability to use it as a repeater and have the characteristics identical to Super Hornet aircraft. As a result, the RAQ-25A became the heart of the CBARS, Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System, and in 2016 it was awarded a new name, the MQ-25 Stingray. Parallel to this, four contracts were signed for the development of a future aircraft. Among the contractors were the following, General Atomics, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing. The Navy expected to receive some intriguing concepts from the companies in 2017 and to bring the drone to combat readiness by the early to mid-2020s. During the presentation of the MQ-25 developments, General Atomics proposed its own concept in the form of a wing fuselage tail design based on the Avenger with a standard D704 refueling system boasting an electro-optical sphere like the Predator and the Reaper, a landing gear hidden in the fuselage of the vehicle, as well as an advanced maneuvering system. Lockheed Martin proposed the Seaghost project based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. The company believed that the use of a flying wing design would endow their creation with the natural stealth that the Navy desperately needs to work in high-risk conditions. Additionally, the design put forward by Lockheed Martin engineers greatly simplified the installation of weapons, sensors, and other equipment on the UAV. Northrop Grumman said that it was withdrawing the X-47B candidacy from the competition due to the inability to complete the program in accordance with the requests put forward by the command. Thus, another potential drone concept in the form of a flying wing dropped out of the MQ-25 race. In August 2018, the U.S. Navy officially announced the winner of the project, Boeing, thus signing an $805 million contract with them to develop four MQ-25s. The deadline set was August of 2024. Not long after, Boeing announced the conclusion of an additional contract to the amount of $84.68 million with the military command for the supply of three more MQ-25 Stingray tankers, increasing the final order to seven vehicles. A little later, information appeared concerning the U.S. Navy's plans to spend an additional $13 billion by purchasing another 72 MQ-25s. This would greatly ease the load on the fleet of existing F-A-18F Super Hornets, which carry out the refueling of other aircraft in the air, thus freeing them up for other combat missions. The Stingray program, according to military experts, will help facilitate and smooth out the transition over to the future sixth-generation fighters like the F-A-XX. The UAV will be able to meet the needs of carriers and tankers, thereby freeing up about 20 to 30 percent of the FA-18EF Super Hornets and purchasing additional F-35Cs. Furthermore, the use of the MQ-25 seemed to be many times more effective and less expensive than the modification of the F-35, V-22 Osprey, and the E-2D Hawkeye, or the return of the previously decommissioned S-3 Viking. The MQ-25 is powered by a single 10,000-pound force-thrust Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine, powered by another well-known device, the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton. The Stingray turned out to be less stealthy than the flying wing concepts proposed by Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, but it did not lose stealth property in the form of a streamlined fuselage, V-tail, and an air intake shape that hides the engine blades from enemy radars. The craft is 51 feet long and has a wingspan of 75 feet. At the same time, when folded, the wings become much more compact, decreasing to 31.3 feet. The MQ-25 has enough power to carry 15,000 pounds of fuel over 500 nautical miles. 
The first test MQ-25, also known as Tail-1, was delivered to the Mid-America Airport in St. Louis, Missouri, which is adjacent to Scott Air Force Base. Shortly after taxi testing, Tail-1 received certification, which gave it the right to conduct its long-awaited flight tests, and by September 19, 2019, it had, quote, spread its wings for the first time. A little later, in December of 2020, a video from Boeing appeared, where the Cobham fuel tank was clearly visible, and by June 2021, the first refueling test took place. During all this, the MQ-25 successfully fed a refueling hose from its ARS aircraft refueling unit and safely transferred fuel to an FA-18F Super Hornet, demonstrating full readiness for its primary tanker mission. The whole mission lasted about four and a half hours, with the amount of redirected fuel being 325 pounds. Of course, the prospects for using the Stingray are not limited to just the Super Hornet alone. This drone will be able to power the EA-18G Growler, Lockheed Martin F-35, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, and many more. Also, the tests for refueling the latter were successfully carried out in August of 2021. The flight lasted a little longer than in the case of the Super Hornet refueling, reaching about six hours at an altitude about two miles, more than three kilometers. In September 2021, Stingray continued its winning streak by fueling the F-35C. The final round of testing of the MQ-25 started at the Chambers Field Naval Base in Norfolk, Virginia in November of 2021, and by early December it was successfully delivered to the aircraft carrier George H.W. Bush to test the UAV out in real sea conditions. Navy officials clarified that the purpose of the test was not so much to evaluate the flight capabilities of the device as far as takeoff from the deck, but rather to assess how to best integrate the Stingray and its functionality while on American aircraft carriers. For example, researchers were interested to know how the UAV engine would behave in a 25-knot wind blowing from different directions. U.S. Navy leadership was pleased with the results of the unmanned tanker's test and believes that its use as a flying tanker will give the Navy aircraft carriers serious operational advantages, allowing ships to stay even farther from the combat zone. In addition, the vehicle's airborne reconnaissance capabilities will increase awareness on the part of aircraft carrier strike groups, and the impressive internal volume can be adapted in the future for additional supply loads, although its main purpose will remain unchanged. Maintaining a safe distance from the conflict zone seems especially important today in the event of a conflict with China, which often forces U.S. allies to take their planes into the air to ensure their sovereignty. What do you think? Will the future of UAVs and humanity give way to hostilities eventually being, quote, remote? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like today's. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.